we're gonna be checking out Divine. Divine Gone? Yeah, Divine Gone. As you can see, he is looking angelic as ever. I don't know what kind of hair products he'd be using, but look at those wings, bro. I honestly think Divine looks really sick on this unit. Like, look at him, dude. He's chilling, bro. But yes, uh, here's a, here's his base stats. So if we scroll up, here he is right here. Divine, as you can see, 3,505 on placement with an 8.4 SPA and 14.6 range. He may look like he's not that good with his SPA and range, but you'll see why he's very broken in a second here. I'm also currently working on trying to actually get a uh, kite to show off to y'all. Try to get the actual, an actual good blessing on kite because it's very random on kite that i'll probably be within my next video but yeah we're gonna be focusing on going this time uh yeah so i'm gonna just farm up and show you his stats as you can see we also got our, <laughs> our shiny speed wagon bro look at them the best waifu look at him it's just so fancy he's just so fancy all right so we maxed out all our speed wagons so we place them down here yep as you can see his base stats 3505 8.4 and 14.6 and our next upgrade is gonna be the 3505 to 7712 same sba and his range goes up by one point two so that's pretty solid so let's upgrade it right now boom so yeah nothing really changes here so his next upgrade 7712 to 11218 so time stays the same and his range goes up by three nothing really changes so we'll do it again so now we get an ability called n my damage goes from 11218 to 19632 my spa goes up to 12.7 and my range goes up one so so far you may think he's kind of looking bad but we're gonna do it bam so i think my aoe does grow bigger so he, he seems like he strikes three times on the ground so he is a, he is a multi-hit. So good for shields. Good for shield breaking. Oh, we got a boss here. He'll wipe them all out, dude. Look at this AoE. Look at that. He just wipes them all out. Even with that high SPA, he has a ginormous AoE. So we're going to upgrade it again. So we're going to go from 19,000, around 19,500 to 28,000. Range goes up by one. SPA stays the same. Bam. Okay. So now nothing changes. AoE stays the same. 28,000 to 33,000. SPA stays the same. And my range goes up by four. So we're actually getting a good increase here. All right. So now we're covering the base and around here the next upgrade 33,000 to 38,000 spa stays the same still and my range goes up by another like six okay okay still nothing new our next upgrade is 38,000 to 42,000 spa stays the same again and we go up by another four so we're getting like a, a huge range increase okay so yeah plus question mark question mark question mark we're gonna go up to 42,000 to 52,000 and my spa is gonna jump up double but my range is gonna be doubled practically we're gonna purchase this oh my god God. And not only that, he's full AoE. From what I know about this unit, he actually hits air. So he hits ground and air units. And not only that, his last upgrade, 52,000 to 63,000. His SPA goes down by four seconds, actually. So it's 21.1 seconds now. That's really good. It goes down by an extra four seconds. And his range goes up by 10. Basically, it goes up by like eight. So let's buy that upgrade. And I think if you have right placements, he would cover the whole map. He covers all of Namek. Anyone tries to get through here, they wouldn't be able to get through this whole area in 20 seconds. So he's going to strike him at least like three times before they get past this unit is super good 63,103 damage with a 21.1 spa and a 63.3 range that is absolutely insane i did forget to bring erwin so let me let me restart this and actually get an erwin a kiski and, and a sakura to show the full damage and craziness this unit can actually do i sadly deleted my uh my sakura so uh we're gonna have to roll with just the erwin and the kisaki so yeah let me let me farm up to get that real quick while i'm currently farming for this uh tell me down below in the comments what do you want me to review next what what a uh, unit what evo and I'll, I'll i'll gladly work on it for you guys uh so yeah uh back to the uh farming i go all right so we got our erwin placed down right here there he is oh he's nice and shiny too he has the little night outfit it's pretty cool so we got a place on our kisaki too here we go bam oh, look at him he's gorgeous all right uh let's see now we gotta upgrade them yep you already properly upgraded now you just need to upgrade my kisaki almost there grind for like one more wave and we should be able able to actually upgrade our kisuke and get his upgrade oh no he has two more upgrades i think so yeah come on can y'all just die faster I'm trying to show off this unit and boom there we go we have his ability first we're gonna upgrade his range so now he does 76 range he literally about covers the whole map and his spa drops to 19 seconds all right let's buff with erwin oh my god 70 it's about 79k 19 second spa and 76 range i guess if he was placed over here he was placed over here he'd cover the whole map everything so he would hit the whole namek map no matter where like the enemy was he would be smacked
That is just so overpowered. Even imagine Sakura, he'd probably be doing over 80,000 damage every 19 seconds with Kiskiba. For such a, for a unit that can hit air and ground and hits the whole map with full AOE, that cooldown isn't bad. Dude, that is this, that is such an insane unit. You may be wondering how to obtain this unit. So first off, you can get it by crafting 10 legendary gones. I don't have a gone on me, so I can't show you. Or you can just pull him when he comes to the banner. It's, you can do one or the other. You're going to need the final contract. This is how much it costs. It's pretty expensive. This is how much it costs to obtain the final contract. And you're going to need 40 of this currency, the cooked fish, which you get you get from the ant world. And that is simply how you evolve gone. It's, it, there's really not much else to it. So one contract, 40 fish, and then you get this beautiful unit. And as for the divine, the divine is a 0.2% chance on a pull. Same as golden. And then, yeah. So that is basically how you pull the mythical divine go. So thank you all so much for watching. And like I said, let me know down in the comments what unit you want to see evo you want to see another mythical or divine or unique uh character like kite because i am currently farming for him and thank you so much for watching Bye -bye.